Welcome to Trigger Point Tuesday. And in this video, we're going to cover quickly how to use the core foam roller to apply a shearing force as you're rolling. Now, whenever we do most of our foam rolling, it's usually direct compression. That compression is going to be great to help move fluid through the area, also helps to reduce tension and reduce some of that tightness. However, whenever we take a look at fascia, we see that some of those more influential layers of fascia are actually very superficial and one of the best ways to try to reduce adhesions or just mobilize those areas is to apply a traction force through that. So to do that here, I'm going to use the core roller at an angled position. So I have it propped up on the grid foam roller. I do like to try to get this directly on skin so that way it can grip and help to mobilize the skin a little bit better. For today, I'm just going to show you the calf, but you can apply this to any body part. I'm going to start with my leg towards the top of it here. Make sure the foot's relaxed. And notice I have a little bit of room to roll there on the other side. However, my goal is not to do a lot of rolling up and down. Instead, what I'm going to try to do is apply pressure and then let gravity slowly start to drag my leg down the roller. We can drag all the way down, then we can come back up, we can roll to another position here. Same thing, maintain that pressure, let the texture of the roller grip the skin, and then just slowly drag down. And you would repeat that process all the way up the muscle group. And what you'll notice is that's going to start to mobilize that fascia in a different direction, more side to side across the direction of those muscle fibers instead of just addressing along the same line of the muscle fibers. So that's how we'd use the core roller for some shearing. Give it a shot. If you have any questions, be sure and ask on social media. And if you'd like more information, check us out at tptherapy.com.